Wagwan guys, what's going on? I hope you're doing good. Academics are speaking on how he feels away about Gillian Wallow not coming on his podcast as well as Charlemagne the God coming on his podcast. However, he went on both of their podcasts. He did their show and now it's an issue when he's asking them to do his show. He says he actually feels a way about this, so I'm going to speak to that. First and foremost, uh, DJ Academics is known. He has a following. I actually check out Academics for every now and again, just checking in. And what he did, his body of work is uh, is glaring, and I think a lot of people uh, is interested in, you know, what he has done and what he continues to do. However, first things first, right? You got to know how business works. And I'm pretty sure he's well aware how it works. Him and Joe had a falling out that he mentioned, but he still goes on Joe's show. Whenever Joe, you know, button asks him, hey, you know, let's talk about this. Or you want to, he, he, he still has communication. He, he does not uh, muddy the waters where he can't still do business with somebody even though they may have had past issues so I, I i can say that he's not at fault in that category because he recognizes that and i can recognize that he has an understanding some type of level of understanding when it comes to that specific category now i will say this academics i think he's tied in real tight with uh the fresh and fit guys i i mean i've even seen him shoot in their studio right i've seen him and i I believe so like he's done podcasts where he will air it on his platform whether that's spotify or just his own channel on youtube he He'll use the exact same footage and he'll just air it, you know, he'll just throw it on his platform that he uses. He'll upload it to one of his accounts, right? I've seen that happen. But now when you're talking about branding, you're talking about these big brand, these big label heads. It's a different story because now he's in bed with Spotify, basically, right? And uh, maybe even Rumble. I think he's... uh, I think he may have said something about Rumble too, but these guys are like they're, they're paying him money to. Uh, he's he, he's in he's in he's in contractual agreements, so it's different than like just the basic run the mill. You know, you got an account and you're running up the bag that way. It's like it's more major, is what I'm saying. Okay, it's more major, and. Um, so he may not be able to do that. He may not be able to get away with some of these. And, and the same thing with uh, Wallow and Gilly, and especially Charlemagne the God. If he's talking, if, if we're talking about uh, the Breakfast Club, as far as just timing and making sure and everything's right. Also, make sure you're not, you know, you're go, you're not going on a, someone's pod sh- a podcast or someone's show, and then you're going to be asked questions that. You really don't need to be even asked or you really shouldn't even be entertaining at this moment. So it's a lot of confusion that runs in there. But I'm going to say definitely. Right. These guys have already did your podcast. I mean, you've already did these guys podcast. So and then it just creates this whole back and forth. where like, what's really going on? You couldn't ask questions like you couldn't ask questions you want to ask us. When we were just on a podcast, you want us to come on your podcast. And, you know, that that gets real like back and forth. And like people are not it's just a whole different audience. You see what I'm saying? And people are looking for different things. And at the end of the day, is this just going to be like favors that you guys are doing for each other? Like what money is going to come of this? And some people are like it's business at the end of the day. Everybody is not like you just have to realize you have to realize what type of people it is some people they want you to starve as long as you eat and and when they see you eating 
it's obviously a problem. They want to interact with you. And academics has been doing his thing for a while. He really has. You know what I'm saying? Um, and Wallow and Gilly, they just, I mean, Gilly has, you know, he's he's been on his rap stuff. But on this new era, this new gen of, you know, podcasts. And this, this is basically like just six years in the making. I believe like six years. I believe uh, I've heard them. Six, you know, alluded to that time frame that Wallow was in jail, just about, you know, that time frame. So, with that time frame, it's basically saying, like, it's either now or never. That's the dilemma DJ Academics is going through. Because when DJ Academics got the call to do a million dollars worth of game, he jumped and he got on his horse over there. To do that quick fast in a hurry well of course he would do it because what million dollars worth of game is like one of the biggest podcasts out right now so of course dj academics would want to be seen with gillian wallow doing that okay and like let's not play games like dj academics going to philly did not help his career and did not help more eyeballs and people know who dj academics is even though he's well known already period but i'm just saying like just because you're very well known doesn't mean everybody in this industry knows you and follows you that closely some people may have glossed over over your work you know what i'm saying really you have a great body of work and i'm just saying that's 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 real at the end of the day so i do feel like at the you know i do feel as if he is overzealous and he's like you know it's tit for tat and because they're so popping right now it has to be drama and let's like in the clip he alluded to the fact that him and joe buttons have fell out but how he still is cool with joe buttons and every time joe buttons like hey let's i want you i want to do an interview let's do an interview he'll go and and and, and do joe button podcast right well, I understand that, but you got to look at it like this. Like I was talking earlier, he, this, they, they are on this big mobile, big label head spin. That is what they are on. That's their kick. And they kind of love, you know, having uh, all these brands to kind of cater to them. Believe it or not, that's what it is. A lot of people don't like going independent and getting out of the mud. So you have the, the clash of these brands, right? Obviously, Gillian Wallows was signed for 100 million. That was like that made news. That was like crazy, right? And they're making a lot of money. They're getting a lot of attention. They're getting a lot of eyeballs. And DJ Academics definitely wants some of that, as he should. But let's not even like, let's not even talk about the purse right now. Let's just you know just off of respect. DJ Academics has been doing this for a very long time, and we can all we can all say that. And so just off of the, you know, off of respect, you got to give them that interview. I understand. But it, it, it just it's not feasible. I don't feel like it's feasible. And then you're going to jump ship and you're you're going to make this podcast and you're going to go off like this, you know, in some uh, spirit of moment, you know, take on this situation. And it's really like for what you feel me? That's at the end of the day. That's what it's for. Because people is not moving how you moving. Like I said, Gilly, uh, I mean, excuse me, Wallow was at the Essence Fest, right? Essence Awards or whatever. So a lot of these guys are popping right now, okay? These guys are popping ma major, right? Majorly, they're popping. So I can understand and I can concede to the fact that DJ Academics is like, nah, he wants some respect put on his name. He needs that. But at the end of the day, I think his era the era that he was really big in uh has has gone and passed right he was real big on covering the whole war in chirac that was going on i get it i i definitely get it and he he still maintains uh, you know somewhat of relevance because of that and it's just like a new era and those things move on a lot of look listen a lot of people have branched off and came up with their own podcast and the legends and you know up and coming artists are, were already born off of dj academics work okay 
I'm giving them the shout out. I'm giving them all of that. Definitely. Okay, I was tuning into it. I was watching it. You know what I'm saying? So I got to give them his props on that. I, I, I really do. But in this situation specifically, because I could go, we can we can go on for at least another 30 minutes just rambling on about this topic. But at the end of the day, this is what happened. This is business. Business is business. And that's just what I was, you know, I thought it was, I thought some people can say that's petty, right? You talk about Charlemagne too, right? Because he, he's saying Charlemagne is not showing him love. And I'm like, because he goes and does the breakfast club. But he's saying he's been hitting Charlemagne, but to no avail. And I'm like, well, like I said, if he's just wanting him to come on his podcast, it's like, when does he do? When has like, okay, he alluded to the fact that he's been on Andrew Schultz. Well, Andrew, that's like his show, right? The, you know, like he had a podcast with Andrew Schultz called like the Brilliant Idiots. I think they canned that one. They shut that one. Andrew Schultz has his own podcast now, like another branch off that he has done. And I don't believe Charlemagne's on there very frequent. He doesn't frequent that podcast. But DJ Academics is on there. And he's like, well, he did a show with Schultz. And it's like, he's, he's still looking for that for Charlemagne, right? And I'm like, well, what makes sense? Because you see a lot of like a lot of stuff is going on with Charlemagne right now, right? It, through the Breakfast Club, Angelique just had left, so it's really it's it's the perfect timing to me. It's like the perfect storm. So he chooses this perfect time, timing, and to go off and say that nobody is reciprocating, you know, uh, what he gave out by attending their podcast, and he can't get nothing uh, in return from that. Okay, so it's playing the victim, and I'm like, plus all that that happened with the Breakfast Club. What makes sense? Like, does he just go on people's podcasts? Right? I don't know. You you feel me? And even if he if he does uh, if he does do that, like, does it make sense? Like the whole timing and you know, it's it's just going on. It should just be going on somebody's podcast. That doesn't sound like Charlemagne. It doesn't. At the end of the day, it's like. Well, okay, if he got a book and he's promoting something, a new kick, I can see him doing things. But if he's just going on another hip hop, like he works, that's what he does. He works like, you know, in hip hop, you know, if he wants to do that, he should, he'll just go to work. He'll just go to the breakfast club and, and talk about whatever he wants to talk about. But I, I mean, I can understand how people really want. They want that corner pocket aspect of the game from, you know, these key people. And I can understand that. Because they probably do have a lot of information, but at the end of the day, he's not trying to come off of that because of, you know, of his position and his foothold that he has right now. And I think that's just very crucial. You know how it is. People are always trying to get you to, you know, do too much when you already juggling as it is. But you, you, you know, you in there, you in there like swimwear. You feel me? But people always want you to do extra. It's never enough. It ain't enough. You invite them on to your show. You get new new listeners, new viewers, subscribing to your what you got going on because of your appearance. You stepping out, but no, nah, they want. It, it's just one of those things, and it's a simple fact of. Well, at the end of the day, academics is right, and I can agree with them. You know, they should be doing academic show. With all that being said, they should be doing academic show. And really, it's like, what's going on? It's it. it is there someone telling you you can't do these things, these certain things? That's an important piece of information that needs to be shared. And I think what DJ Academics is doing is very brilliant. Peace, guys. I'm out.